would love to hear why you think um, Twitch at Birth was chosen for this panel and what's special about this particular show that makes it stand out from the rest? Um, well, clearly we're a show with um, many forms of communication. It's a show with multiple deaf and hard of hearing protagonists, which I believe is the first time on TV it's ever happened. I think um, it's the first time there's been more than one um, week to week character that's deaf or hard of hearing. So I'm proud of that. Um, and really, what it's just about is showing that everyone's the same deep down, and you know, people may feel um, distanced and nervous around people who don't talk the way they do, and if you can't interact with them, but everyone's the same, and if you can find a way to communicate it, people are grateful that you're trying in any way you can. Um, and um, of course, we have you know, Latinos in our cast. We just have a very, in every way, diverse. And it, it wasn't really. Um, trying to make them diverse, it's just sort of what is reality to America and the world and, you know, and of course I was trying to create two families that were as different as possible in every way, class, race, all those things. I know she was laying that out for us and I felt so silly that I hadn't thought of that, thought of that. especially for this diversity panel. I was concentrating, yes, I was concentrating on bringing awareness to the deaf community or about the deaf community, but you guys have really done a great job of showcasing diversity across across the board. Um, but bringing it back to the storyline, how do you keep track of all the drama? There is so much going on on the show all the time. How do you keep track? I don't sleep a lot. <laughs> um, just, I don't know, they live, um, they just live in my brain and in the writer's room and they take over. You know, actually, sometimes there was something that happened with Emmett, which I can't say yet, but. Because it's coming up. Uh, it's coming up in a couple episodes and I was like, he just did it. It was actually, the characters are at that point now where sometimes they just do things in a way. It sounds sort of, you know, hippie, but they want to do things and you have to follow them. And you created them to a point where they're going to do things you may not like, or but so do your friends instead of your family. And um, some characters are going to be doing things um, coming up that you may not like, but um, you will at least believe and relate to and we all make um, judgment calls that may not be the wisest, but um, I, I just feel like my job is at least to make sure that they're grounded and everyone, no one does anything ever that you think that came out of nowhere. And um, if you follow the show, you know that Regina Constance's character knew about the switch. And um, that was a very controversial reveal, but I just really um, felt like it was a valid choice that she made. And so, um, and I didn't mind that it was controversial, but um, she did what she thought was best for the girls. And so, um, in the same way, that's just the best example I can think of, yeah. of of a character making a choice that may not be everyone on board for, but at least you can understand why they made it. We heard there might be an upcoming reveal that will be just as epic as that one. What can you share? Nothing, nothing. Come on, but that is true, and I'm so excited about it. I'm like devilishly excited about it. It's terrible. When can we look out for it? Soon, soon. But in this. You know, batch of episodes. Yeah. So how far in advance are the episodes lined up? Like, you know what's going to happen. Uh, well, we've done with these 12. Right. So, um, and we are back in the writer's room already. Today was our first day back, in fact. Working on the next 10? Working on the next 10. Oh. Yes. So what was discussed today? Um... Uh, well, one thing, the only thing I will reveal, but we're very excited about, is okay. that we're going to be airing in the summer and playing summer for summer. So, oh, nice. yeah, it is nice. We're going to kick those Buckner uniforms to the closet and uh, get out of study hall and be outside and um, be in the pool more and, and just, um, I told everyone to make sure they're in great shape. <laughs> and um, summer, yeah. I feel like summer will bring some summer love, right? Oh, yeah. You guys are so good at ABC Family about keeping secrets. Oh, I'm obsessed and with keeping spoilers I, away. I, I um, in fact, we leak fake sides. To who? To well, actors auditioning? Um, yeah. No. And, well, I'll tell you, there are spoilers um, out there that are completely made up, that we made up. So, haha. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. 
Are there any other crazy measures that you guys take to keep this secrecy? Uh, no, that's that's really the only one. But we found out that all the sides were being leaked, and so we thought, well, we'll just play with people. My writers will probably kill me for revealing that, but at least no. everyone knows that if you read a side, it may not, they're not all fake, but that you don't know if they're real or not. That sometimes we just will change it around to make sure we audition for a similar type part, but that yeah. crazy, you know, <laughs> crazy stuff. I think that's great. Keep people guessing. <laughs> well, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous! If you the whole point of TV is being along for the ride and enjoying it, right. why would you want to search and find out and ruin it? Yeah. Um, so anyway, you just want a little bit. Well, that's okay. It's like if you had known that Regina knew about the script, it would have ruined such a great moment when the guitar case was opened, and it would have just taken. In fact, my husband, I had told him, you know, because I, I thought of it, you know, you know a year before when I pitched the pilot and he knew that she knew about the switch. He was like, I wish I didn't know. You know, you kind of, now I don't tell him anything and he watches 100% as a fan so that he could just, that's, that's the journey. That's the fun you want for your fans, you know?